welcome everybody to our Center for Local Government Excellence Training Program and thank you for your indulgence while we work out our technical difficulties. You know, technical difficulties make life very interesting and, um, you know, help elevate our heart rate. You know, that's important to get exercise and stuff like that, so it's all good. Um, we welcome those of you who are in the beautiful Light Center with us this morning and 800 plus people who are online. Um, we're thinking about you constantly, even though we can't see you. And um, you're in good hands with Sunflower Development Solutions, who is doing our live streaming today. And thanks a lot for that. Um, I'm Diane Allison, and I'm the Director of Local Government Services at the Legislative Auditor's Office. So today we have a jam-packed day. Um, so we got our little slow start, we got our coffee, we're ready to go. Um, we have five different sessions. We are taking a 10-minute break between sessions. And the reason why you ask is because you requested that, particularly for those online. The online people, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get prompted to um, respond to a question. That's how we document your attendance. And, um, and you have to respond to at least three or four, I think, every hour. So um, take a little advice from a 61-year-old female. The time to go to the bathroom is right after you click on the response for are you present. <laughs> I'm just saying, we just have to share all the information that we know. Um, we're excited about our agenda today, and I'll tell you why. One of the things is that um, level three is here. So we have about 150 people who started in level one in 2015 and, um, and 16, and then did level two and 17 and 18 or 19 or something like that. And you've been waiting with bated breath for level three, and we are here today. So we're thankful for that and you will get a special certificate signed by our legislative auditor, Mike Wagesback, who's gonna um, come and say a special welcome to us. And we also, along with level three, we are so pleased that we have some guest speakers today. Um, we have Tiffany Dorsa with Postal Weight in Netterville, who's gonna um, present a session. We also have Jason Akers with Foley and Udell, and Charlie Mackles with Inspire NOLA, who's gonna teach us all about grants administration. So we're very thankful to have our guest speakers with us today. Um, the slides are available on our website for download, um, lla.la.gov slash CLGE um, for that. And then, um, let's see, uh, submitting a question. So the online people, um, you guys in the room, don't worry about the chat box, the Q&A box. Online, y'all worry about the Q&A box. So when you have questions, um, you can submit them in the Q&A box and our um, Sunflower Development will get those. And it depends on each speaker and their preference for when we answer them. But here's how it goes. We will answer all of your questions one way or another. We really want to do that. Whether we answer them during the presentation, after the presentation, by email, whatever, we will definitely get to those. And then um, for those of us that are here in person, um, by now I hope that you have located the restrooms. So where you came in, you take a right instead of a left and go down a hall, and that's where the restrooms are. And those of you online, I think if you leave your office and take a left, the restrooms are right there. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Mike Waggis back, our legislative auditor. Good morning, can everybody hear me okay? It's great to be here, apologize for a few technical delays, but uh, here we are in a beautiful venue in Lafayette near the uh, university here. It's great to see everybody in person finally again. I think it's been since 2019, I'm told, that they had a, an in-person conference sponsored by our group. So uh, I wanna thank my staff who's worked really hard as a team to, to put together a great curriculum. I mean, this is really a star-studded lineup with respect to the curriculum that you're about to hear and see over the next day and a half. This is the kind of stuff that you can't get in a classroom in a university or, or, or college. They, they don't teach this via textbook, and whether it's an auditing class or any type of accounting class, graduate level class. This is the real world stuff. This is the stuff that you deal with every day and, and, and in an effort to be more transparent, accountable to, to your constituents and to the taxpayers of this great state. Um, Everything we do here today is all about making a better Louisiana. You guys are on the ground, you're the boots on the ground, you're the first line of defense to making sure that the accountability and transparency is there. So we are just blessed and so happy that you 
feel to make us a part of your trusted advisory team. You know, one thing I did, I tried to do, is, is we just run, wanted to rebrand ourselves when I came in roughly about a year and a half ago. As you can see, the logo's changed, our, our website has changed, hopefully the search engine and, and things that you need and the resources you can get to quicker. Um, this is all about building an advisory group that you can trust. I'm not the go-to or gotcha guy, I'm not the gotcha auditor looking to try to create a finding or find a problem. We want to get in front of the problems and help you solve them before they become an issue that's embarrassing to either your, your municipality or your parish or, or to the state. So we're doing our level best to bring you good curriculum, real-time curriculum, and we just want to thank you for participating. This is unbelievable that we had over a thousand people registered for this course. This is that means that you're getting something out of the prior courses we've given, and we want to, and this really gives our team a lot of confidence and the motivation to push forward and bring it to another level. Every every conference is bring it to another level in, in dealing with real world issues. So. Um, I'm blessed to be your auditor. I've had a lot of fun the last year and a half. This has been a great opportunity in my life. And, you know, it's all about the circle of life. I mean, I, I went to work for a big six firm uh, after graduating from LSU. I was fortunate enough to somebody, uh, <laughs> didn't have the best grades in the world. Somebody gave me a shot, and I, and I took, the, took the shot and ran with it. Uh, later, opened my own firm and ended up becoming sheriff 16 years. Later, tax commission, and here I am. Uh, and, and people ask me, so, you know, how did you end up as auditor? So, well, it's kind of like the circle of life. And I started thinking about this. It hit me the other day, and I've told this story to a small group. So if you heard it, I apologize. But when I was in school, high school, I, didn't, I wasn't involved in sports. I worked a lot. Uh, I worked, I probably since sixth grade had a, had a job after school and on weekends, and that's what I enjoyed doing. I kind of like putting a little money in my pocket. So I enjoyed working. Well, working from a stepdad in high school, you know, when, you, uh, when you're when you bored in high school and you're able to get off at noon, I had plenty of time to work. So he had a dredging company, and uh, a lot of times I'd have to run supplies and groceries. So I'll tell you this story because this, I think, is what pushed me into my audit role. And uh, as I'm driving, then they told me, look, when I left the office, I had to get down to Leeville somewhere below Golden Meadow. They said, look, when you get to Golden Meadow, there's going to be a flashing light. You've got to slow down. And my friends from Lafourche Parish, y'all know all about Golden Meadow. Well, that's when they didn't have the four lane, but you had to go Highway 1, and you went through the little town of Golden Meadow. And I wasn't paying attention. I'm a kid. I got the radio on. I'm rolling. And I'm rolling about 55, 65. And all of a sudden, I saw that light, but it was too late. It goes from like 45 to 25. Sure enough, lights and sirens pull me over. Oh, man. Get my license. Get out. Well, you got an expired tag on this truck. You're speeding. That's going to be $300. Okay, I said, well, I can mail that, right? Oh, no, no, we got to get that today. Today. I said, well, I've got a checkbook. Can I write a check? No, sir, you cannot write a check. I said, there's a bank right there. Can I go to that bank and cash a check and bring you the money? No, sir, you can't do that. So what are we going to do? He goes, you're going to have to follow me. Where are we going? We're going to the jailhouse. So City Hall jailhouse? Yeah. So back then, I'm, you know, I think I'm 17, I don't know what, how old I was, 17, maybe 18. So I called the dredge, they had one of those VHF radios, which is good, so I could call the, call the captain and said, Captain, I'm in a bond, I need $300 brought to the landing and bring it to this gold and metal lockup. And he just kind of giggled, he's a good Cajun from Burrow Bridge, and he will kiss you, I would be there. <laughs> so, you know, I'm waiting and I, I follow this unit and uh, I get to the parking lot and he takes my keys Brings me inside because I need your shoelaces and belt. Shoelaces and belt? Well, yeah, you've got to lock you up. You don't want you to kill yourself. So, man, I'm not going to kill you. I was just, at that point, I was like, man, this is pretty serious. So, lo and behold, my captain gets there. He, he comes there and peels off $300. I got to walk into the mayor's office. I got to hand that mayor that $300 cash. Okay. So, I'm thinking to myself, you know, man, I, I've never had a ticket on my driving record. I'm getting new insurance uh, in about six months. Well, I ran, you know, back then agent would tell you we run your record, everything, you, and you got an impeccable record. I said, really? I said, I guess those two tickets from Golden Meadow didn't show up. So I wonder if that cash really made it to the bank account of that city hall. So here we are. 
So my friends from Golden Meadow, I know y'all have changed your ways. I picked on the mayor the other day when I saw him the other day, just kind of told him that story. So it's all about the circle of life, and I'm glad the circle of life has brought me here in front of you. It's given me the opportunity to really step up our game at the legislative auditor's office. You know, I, like you, was an auditee at one time for 16 years as sheriff. There's nothing more nerve-wracking when the auditors come in, you worry about findings, and even you can do the best job you can with the best team you've got, but every once in a while we'll make mistakes, and I make mistakes. So we, we had our findings throughout the years, but uh, it's all about best practice. So we want to roll out best practice, and the more we do this, the more we get in front of you and educate you best practice, the more successful you're going to be, the more successful your uh, constituents are going to have uh, with respect to their community, and this is going to be a better Louisiana at the end of the day. So without further ado, I'm, I've, I've taken up way too much time, and I want to keep on, stay on course. I welcome you. Uh, please reach out to me if you ever have any direct question or if there's something uncomfortable you, you need to talk about, or just call me and say hello. My email is real easy. It's not the wag, it's back. It's mwag, M-W-A-G at L-L-A dot L-A dot gov. Feel free to reach out or call the main office. Be glad to, to visit with you and come to your town or location to visit you and, and then help you through an issue. So thank you. It's good to be here, and God bless everybody. Y'all be careful. <laughs>